The garbage uh, collectors were supposed to pass this morning, but uh, I forgot to take the garbage out, so I'm going to have to wait until Monday now, so it's, it's pretty tough to walk around here. It's not as bad as it used to be, though. I mean, uh, there used to be, like, so much garbage lying around, it was pretty bad. But, you know, every once in a while, like, I sometimes I spend, like, an entire day or two just doing nothing but cleaning, and, you know, uh... So then at some point it looks almost uh, decent in this place, but then as time goes on, you know, I just, uh, you know, the garbage kind of just uh, uh, gets back. Uh, wait. This is better than the rug. All right. Ah, uh, there you go. Oh, it kind of stuck on the side. Well, that's a bad sign, but whatever. No, it doesn't really matter that much. Anyway. Uh, water in there. All right. I'm going to clean it up later with uh, this stuff, the soap pads. I have a whole bunch of them. Okay. Uh, that's the greatest thing in the world to, to clean up, you know, the... I mean, you know, I don't care if the, if the ground is dirty or if, I mean, you know, the walls are dirty. Like here, see, I threw a hockey puck or that was a hockey tape that I threw. I was recording a game and uh, when someone uh, scored and the Penguins lost in overtime, I took the tape out and I threw it. So we had this uh, sign. See, it's the shape of a, a VHS. Uh, but I, I don't care if it's dirty or round. I don't care if that is dirty, but I care if the plates are uh, eaten are dirty. I care if, if the pot in which I cook my food is dirty, you know, that that's the stuff that matters if it's dirty. Uh, because, you know, I can get, you know, uh, sick if, if I eat, you know, from dirty place. So I'm, I'm actually very clean, you know, about the stuff that I eat. It's just, you know, like the stuff there, or here, whatever. I mean, this... I clean it up, you know, uh, but usually, you know, when I receive people, it's not here, so it doesn't really, it doesn't really matter that much. Anyway, the only people who, who actually come here uh, are the people who really know me, the, the, like the friends I had for a long time, you know, people who, who know me well, uh, and uh, people that, you know, I don't care if they see how dirty this place is. Uh, most of them already know, but, you know, the important thing is, you know, like, that your bed is clean, that the the, 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 the plates in which you eat are clean. Uh, you see that stuff over there that, dude, when I used to clean, uh, like, uh, the, the spoons and stuff, then when they're clean, I put them back here. See how clean this is? You know, because this is important. This has to be clean because I eat with that. If it, if, it, if it wasn't clean, I would die. You know, uh, but um, like, see the wall there. You know, the stuff there. It doesn't matter if that is dirty because you know I don't. You know, I don't uh, eat that. So well, it just uh, it's not aesthetically pleasing. But there's no consequence. Who has studied global economic cycles for the last 139 years? Oh, this guy has studied for 139 years. Holy shit! Is that our economic downturn will be must be pretty old. Than the largest recession since World War II. All right. Comes to the conclusion that there is a one in five chance that America's GDP, gross domestic product, and consumption will fall by 10 percent or more. All right, so before uh, I can eat this, I have to wait until the sauce uh, dries up a little bit. Um, wow, it tastes good. This is really... I have a good feeling about this cake. I tell you, this this is going to be good. You know, I said um, I want to make a recipe so delicious that people are going to just do nothing but eat it. And there's going to be no wars in the world. I think this might be it. So I'm going to come back in uh, about 10 minutes until the stuff is a little bit dried up. So, uh, see you guys.
Well, I think it's pretty much ready. You see the the sauce is kind of hardened. You see when you do that it doesn't spill, so it's uh, hardened. Um, so we can try to taste. Finally I get to taste this. Um, uh, I think this is probably the first recipe I've ever made that people are going to actually try to, to uh, reproduce. Um, all right, let's try this. Uh, I arranged a little uh, licorice like that. Okay. Um, so the baba a la sambuca, kind of like a baba oram but with sambuca, and easier to make. Of course, the baba oram is a pain to make. I tried it once. Oh boy, no, it's pretty hard. You have to leave the plums overnight and something. Oh boy. All right. The Baba a la Sambuca. The first ever Baba a la Sambuca in the history of the world. I'm going to take a, a picture. There it is. The world's first ever Baba a la Sambuca. Let's see. A good picture. Call 1-800-556-5701. There you go. So, let's... Let's see, huh? All right. Let's try it, huh? Programming you like at a time. Let's see. You also have access to many titles in high definition. Whoa. Oh boy, that's good. Oh my god, this is mm. Whoa, it, it tastes very strong because there's a lot of alcohol. Oh man, this is good. Holy crap. Mm. Now this is the best recipe I've ever made. My goodness. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. So you guys have to try this. This is just absolutely fabulous. Uh, so, you guys make this and enjoy. This is really, really a great, great recipe. So, uh, see you guys some other time, right?